Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel here today, and we are back, my friends, for another recording slash live streaming tutorial here today. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to co-stream on the Xbox One slash uh, on Mixer with your friends. So, what is co-streaming? Mixer is basically, like I said, another stream platform. I've gotten very popular on it, and I'm very excited about it in the future of it. But co-streaming is basically a feature that allows multiple content creators to host uh, live streams together in one place and basically when using this feature you all have it together so basically in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to co-stream and what you do if you notice my voice is a little <clears throat> ragged here I've been a little sick but I need to make videos because it's been a while so how do you set up a co-stream so co-streaming is not the hardest thing to do um, basically you're gonna need to send an invite to your friends now you cannot send the invite from the account, so you're going to have to send it from the website, which I'll show you here in a minute. But basically I'll explain you the steps right here, and then we'll show you how to do it live. So you're going to nap first, you're going to go on the Mixer website, you're going to navigate to the Mixer channel, open the overflow menu, um, you're going to start a co-stream, you're going to select start a co-stream, then you're going to enter the username, the Mixer username is going to say search the search bar, you're going to enter in the username, and then you're going to pick maybe... What do you want a grid, sidebar, camera chooser, or mobile? And then you're going to click add to invite, and then you're going to click send invite. And then through their console, they should get an invite. Now, I forgot, you can actually do it on the Xbox One, but you're going to need to go do it through the party. So you have to set up a party here. And then uh, basically, I'll show you how to do it on the computer, but we're first going to show you how to do it on the console. Uh, for example, if you have someone in your party, you can click the, the thing invite party to co-stream and then once you do that, you go to your notifications and you would get an invite just like this like my friend Spartan here did and you would click the launch button, press A on that and it would instantly set up the co-stream. That's all you need to do to stream the Xbox One and you would have that right there and just like that, it would be set up and you can invite any person to your co-stream from the send invite, you can just invite them to your party and then invite them right there. Now. That was how to accept it, and that's how to set up. So on computer, how do you set up a co-stream? Now that's how you do it on Xbox One. You could just do it simply invite party co-stream. They get the notification here. You just accept it, then you're good. Now on here's the question here. Now on the freaking uh, PC, how do you do that? So you're gonna go to the Mixer website here. <clears throat> All right, and then here you're gonna click. Start a co stream, which is on the three dots here. You're going to click Start a co stream. And here's, like I said, the overlay and stuff. So, for example, you're going to click, I did again Spartan again, the Spartan Army here. You're going to click his name. And see, there he is. It'll look just like a grid, kind of like. You could pick a sidebar, you could pick a camera choose bar or chooser, <laughs> and you could pick mobile. And then either one of those, you could do it, and then you just gotta click Add to Invite. Their name pops up right there. And you also could do two, up to two other people. You can go up to four people with co-streaming. And then you can do uh, Send Invite. And then the invite will send to them. And you're all set, it'll send the invite to them. Obviously, they're not gonna accept it. But once they have the invite, they'll be good. And then you can accept it. And then right after that, basically, like I showed you here, it'll be set up. Once the co-stream actually does engage, it'll be set up in a kind of like a grid. Like for example, if I add, let's just add two people, uh, the Spartan Army, and I'll add my friend Tiger. So I add Spartan, you can have the grid like there. So just add to invite for example, see, and then it just shows their name right there. That's with like two people. For example, if I want to add Tiger, let's give this guy Tiger Pablo, I don't know who this is. Uh, then it has a grid like that, sidebar, camera, mobile, and then you do a fourth person. Uh, let's do Xbox, for example. You add them, and then it's like you have the grid like four, sidebar, camera, and then you've got the mobile. So that's basically how you do it. Once you see the invite, you can get the invite. You could pop up through your console, again, like I said, in notifications, or it could pop up on your Mixer dashboard. And then once you do that, you just accept it, and then it'll be set up, and then you'll be good. Now, again, those are the only two ways you can do it. You only can do it through your PC, or you can do it through your console. Now, obviously, co-streaming is a huge feature because people can instantly go over to your stream.
for example, if I had a co-stream here, there would be a bunch of names popped up. For example, there could be a little like icon here for the other streamer. All you have to do is click it, <coughs> and it would go to their side of the co-stream. So, for example, if I invited Spartan to a co-stream here, his name would pop up right here, and I can just instantly click it, and then I would be able to go to his stream. But once you follow their co-stream, you could instantly click to the other person's stream and follow them because all the follows would be connected. Obviously, the, all the chats would be the chats here would be the same. They're all connected to the same chat. Bots and all that are configured for the same chat. So all four of you, three of you, two of you would be on the same chat. So everyone commenting from Spartan's stream or for another streamer's name would be in your stream, or commenting from the other person's stream would be in your stream. Commenting from my stream would be in their stream. It would all be connected. It's all in the same chat. And then once you have that, you're basically good. You don't have to really worry about any else of that stuff. And then you're basically set to go. And co-streaming is a very good feature to grow because your viewer account is kind of connected with the people you're with. So if you want to grow, this is a good way to do it. It's a good way to connect with your friends and play with them and stream together. Um, I recommend to do this. Like I said, again, you don't even need an Elgato or a capture card to do this. You could do this, like I said. You could do this uh, straight from the console just by inviting party to co-stream. And then once you do that again, you would just accept the invite because it would pop up on your Xbox. Now, obviously, if you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below in the comments section. And if you guys are new, please make sure to smack that like button and subscribe for more content. I would appreciate if you missed any tutorials here, guys. Um, I will try to get them out for you guys. Please leave some ideas on what you want me to do for the future. I plan on doing an Xbox One tutorial on how to stream from the Xbox One using a capture card to YouTube. Obviously... It's the only thing you can do to YouTube from Xbox One, so I want to help you guys out as much as I can. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will um, leave a couple options maybe down below in the comments for you guys. And that's basically That's how you co-stream on the Xbox One console and how you co-stream from the website. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.